And you don't have to be a meteorologist to know it has been a very rainy day all across our area today. Some really heavy downpours now crossing over I-85 and soon to be I-26. Let's get a closer look at it on live Super Doppler the 4 HD up into Cherokee County. Big batch of heavy downpours here just south of Gaffney and just west of Surratt and in parts of Union County seeing some more heavy downpours here as well. Fortunately, there are not any lightning strikes with these downpours. This is just a big mess of heavy rain out there. Down to the southeast of Greenville right now at 615. Some really heavy downpours in Simpsonville right now. Again, that's about to cross over 385 and I-26 as well. Then further back down to the southwest, you've got some more heavy downpours towards Williamson and Piedmont and down into Anderson County as well. Further up to the north, up in the mountains, we're on the back side of a lot of that heavy rain. The temperatures are a little bit colder up here, so the rain's a little bit lighter. Where you have more humidity and warmer temperatures, you've got stronger thunderstorms developing in South Southeast Alabama and Southern Georgia. Pretty good squall line here. Fortunately, we're missing out on that. We're just a little too far to the north where there's some colder air, which was what we'll be seeing really the rest of the week. Again, tonight we'll have another push of colder temperatures that come on in as the rain moves out of here. So by 730, we're again on the back side of the heavier downpours, maybe a couple more flare ups for the rest of the night tonight, but not anticipating any severe weather. Just going to be big mess of rain, maybe some rumbles of thunder, and that should be about it. And as that cold air wraps in on the back side of the cold front, maybe some flurries up in the mountains or a wintry mix, but nothing really substantial. That'll be really short lived as well. By midnight, the skies are already clearing out later tonight as the cold and dry air noses its way back in. Wind chills tomorrow morning, they will again be really cold even for this time of year waking up to the teens for wind chills in Asheville and Hendersonville by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Most places in the 30s as that north wind comes in at 10 to 15 miles per hour. It stays that way into the afternoon as well. Notice those mountain wind chills two in the afternoon still below freezing uh, in, in Greenville will be more more like the 40s. Same for Spartanburg and Gaffney as well. Then everybody tomorrow night that we all feel the cold with those frigid wind chills tomorrow evening in the 20s and 30s. So very much a January forecast yet again for the upcoming week. The rain chances will be few and far between. That's the good news. Monday through Friday looking really dry. However, there is one thing we're watching heading into next weekend. We'll have another storm system that likely develops in the lower Mississippi Valley sometime during the day Saturday. That could bring impacts for us Saturday night into Sunday, possibly in the form of winter storm. You notice that rain chance changing into snow here. The, the exact details are still a little too uncertain to kind of dive into just yet. This is something we're going to be watching heading into the upcoming week, but for right now, uh, just something to be mindful of as you make your weekend plans. Maybe looking at a chance for a winter storm moving in here. We'll be watching for it. So for tonight, just to recap here, clearing sky after 10 p.m., much colder again and getting below freezing down in, or up in the mountains, I should say. Then tomorrow afternoon drying out, staying sunny and quite cold, but those wind chills in the 30s and 40s most of the afternoon. Next four days look like this. Plenty of sunshine Monday through Wednesday. A little bit of increase in clouds on Thursday. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle there. And of course, we'll be watching for those potential winter storm impacts Saturday into Sunday. The mountains will be especially cold to start off the week. Lows in the teens Tuesday morning and low 20s for Wednesday morning.